Mr. President, I too rise to speak on uh, motion number 141 that uh, my colleague Ms. Uh, State has moved relating to the Andrews Labor Government's achievements in the 2019-2020 <coughs> budget. Uh, in my inaugural speech, um, I spoke twice about removing uh, the traffic congestion and the importance of the vital infrastructure that we need, including uh, better roads and better uh, public transport. I'm a regular user of public transport. I use uh, trams, trains, and buses. Um, and at times, it is frustrating. I try to use different train lines. I try to use different train stations in, in my constituency. And I, I can see why, why the people get frustrated when they're using public transport. I'm proud of the government, Andrews Labor government. We made commitment prior to 2014 and 2018 election. Uh, for the infrastructure, we are delivering on those promises and we are getting things done. And the work that we are doing for the uh, transport infrastructure is, is one, or, one of a kind uh, in, in the history of, of, of infrastructure in, in Victoria. Um, I'm, I'm really proud to talk about some of the major infrastructure projects. Uh, Melbourne is uh, Australia's fastest growing city in fact, the number of transport trips made every single day is expected to almost double by 2050. And as our city and our state grow, our transport system must keep up. The suburban rail loop will circle Melbourne's suburbs, connecting communities with jobs, schools, universities, and the airport without having to travel into the CBD. Connecting every major train line and with the connection to Melbourne Airport, the suburban rail loop will transform the way people travel around Melbourne. <coughs> it will cut congestion across the entire transport network, removing thousands of cars from our roads and thousands of passengers off existing rail services. At the same time, the loop will create more than 20,000 jobs during construction with up to 2,000 apprentice, apprentices, trainees and cadets. This City shaping project will complement the Melbourne Airport Rail and Melbourne um, other infrastructures and also the Metro Tunnel project already underway as part of Victoria's big build while also providing new connections for com communities in regional Victoria. With 29 level crossings already gone for good, the Victorian budget 2019-2020 invests a further 6.6 .6 billion to deliver on our promises to remove a total of 75 crossings by 2025, cutting congestion and making our communities safer.